Hey y'all, it's your favorite life coach, Nikki. I wanted to jump on here real quick and just give you guys a little gem um, in regards to self-love and self-care because they are different, but they go hand in hand with each, with each other. So self-love is just having an extra sense of care and awareness of doing what makes you happy. You get what I mean? It's making sure that you are balanced, but the way that you get there is through self-care. So think of self-care like the action part and having self-love is like the verbal part. You get what I mean? So the way that you get to self-love is by doing things to maintain and balance yourself. Think of like a car for maintenance. You can love the car to death, but as, as, so, as soon as something goes wrong, it's like a big, huge issue. And it's either you let the car, put the car down and get to it whenever you can and pick up another car. Or if you don't, you have no other options but to focus on that one car that you have, take it to the mechanic, get it checked out, do the oil change monthly and make sure, well, not monthly, but within that three, that's a 3,000 miles, I think 3,000 mile range to make sure that when you need your car, your car is operating with no issues, you can depend on it. So when you think of self-love, self-love is like loving yourself, knowing that you're important, being comfortable in your skin, but self-care is like maintenance. So you need to make sure that you are acting out on self-care. You need to decompress from certain people that's toxic, set healthy boundaries against people that are draining, change your circle, um, do things that make you feel really good. If it's something like working out, reading a book, um, booking a spa day, having your own little mini spa at home, there's plenty of things you can get off Amazon, um, just hanging out with your friends, going to a restaurant that you really, really wanted to check out, or going to that concert and I had a couple posts around Valentine's Day about the importance of doing things for yourself, right? So you have to learn to be comfortable in your own skin. And we all know this, but it's the, the process of getting there. You start getting comfortable in your own skin when you start accepting your skin, analyzing your skin, knowing what works, what doesn't work. It's the same thing with love. You have to figure out how you want to be loved. You want to figure out the way that you want to be loved. And the only way you can figure out those things is by you doing them and doing those things to yourself. That's how you can figure out what you like or don't like. It makes no sense to just go through life without any form of self-care. And then when you meet a really good guy or a really good girl that you want to go ahead and start that relationship with, now you are putting yourself in a position where they are responsible of loving you. But then it can also backfire because if you don't know how to love yourself, how can you demand or expect someone to love you that makes you feel fulfilled? Do you get what I mean? If you don't know what that feeling is and you can't get that feeling on yourself, then how can you expect someone else to do it for you? Like you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. Like it's not going to work. And then that's why it's important to just figure out what makes you feel good. Figure out what you can do. Figure out how you can handle things better. Like learning how to take care of your temper, your past trauma, to heal from things. Learning happiness. Learning to be comfortable in your skin. Like just being overall happy accomplishing goals like if you can learn how to do that on your own then any relationship or anything else that you get into is now not a, it's not something that you have to depend on for you to get but now it's an extra it's a compliment you should be with someone that compliments who you are and not defines who you are and that's when you start really getting deeper and deeper into the importance of self-love and why it's needed. It's learning yourself and being comfortable in your skin and then learning how to maintain that. Because just like a car, if you drive it, you know what I mean, hard for really, really long, then you're gonna things are gonna start breaking down. You're gonna need an oil change. You're gonna need to get new tires. You know what I mean? You're gonna need to go ahead and get new windshields if it's been raining for a long time. It's the same thing with your body. If you keep doing things for everyone else and never getting back to yourself, when your tank goes on E, who's responsible to get you filled back up? 
Or another question, if you keep running hard, hard, hard for everyone else, then what happens when you crash and burn? What, what actions or what do you do to get yourself back on that point of being fulfilled and being happy? Like, do you wait until everything sets itself on fire around you and then everything starts crashing and burning? Or do you wait until you see a little smoke and then want to react to it? Or do you just constantly make it a part of a routine where every weekend or every few days or just recognizing what your triggers are, you normally have little things set in place so that you don't have to deal with smoke. You don't have to deal with the ring of fire. You are just managing things as they come in and not only just managing them. And I don't want to get that confused with tolerating things, but getting to a point where you are managing them in a healthy way and not a fight or flight way. And that's a whole nother conversation for another day. But I just really wanted to go in on self-love and it, I didn't realize how close it was to me personally. Um, because if you've been on my page for some time, you know that I originally I called myself a self-development coach. And I, I, I do like I help people learn how to develop themselves into being comfortable and happy within themselves and learning how to instill boundaries and managing self-care and, and bringing those questions to get you to that point. But then I realized that self-development is just a branch off of self-love. And everything that I'm doing as far as getting you guys to that point, it's all about self-care and self-love. Boundaries and self-development is just one part of it. So that's that's something that I wanted you guys to just resonate with you guys a little bit. Just something for you to think about. But thank um, you for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.